Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Vet TV. I'm your host, Lion. And I'm Coco. And we're here right now at the 2012 Chicago Salsa Congress. And while it is cold outside in Chicago, the Salsa Congress brings the heat. They bring the heat hard, straight up. All right, now, this is the premier event for all the salseros throughout the Midwest. So all the Midwest salseros come here to strut their stuff. And we get a chance to hang out with gifted souls at their rehearsal, follow them here, and watch them perform. We also got to see some of the shows here, watch all the dancers, talk to some important people. But I don't know, Coke, uh, all this uh, talk about dancing makes me want to get it in. Get it in? Yeah, get it in. I'm going to go. All right, so while Lion gets it in, you guys check out my interview at the Congress Theater with Frankie Negron. Hey, everybody, it's Coco, and I'm joined by Frankie Negron. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. So tell me, it's your second day in Chicago, and you were here yesterday. So how is my city treating you? How do you like it? Good, great. I mean, I'm trying to fit it all in. I'm trying to get to know people, places. You know, it's, it's, it's a good time leading up to this, uh, to this show tonight. So I'm really excited about getting up out there on stage. Yeah, and you just did a uh, crossover album a while ago, yeah. and uh, it was called Independence Day. Right. Uh, what was that experience like? It was a great experience. It, the English market is very different than the Latin market. It's mm -hmm. like right here, right now. You know, what just dropped a couple months ago. With, with the genre and with what I did on the English album, it was like a slow kind of movement on it. But as of right now, it, it's been playing in uh, Boston, in Colorado, New Zealand, Australia. I've been getting a lot of love, which is wild. What I like is when they hear me doing the English stuff, then they Google or YouTube me and find out I'm this Puerto Rican Salcedo from Jersey. And they're like, what? Well, for me, it was the opposite. I was like, I heard the song yeah. and, or, um, and I was like, what? This is like rocky, like it's rock, yeah. it's cool. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's so different from yeah. what I expected from you. So you get like yeah. both responses. If you're an actor, you know, you, you're allowed to go from a comedy to a mm -hmm. dramatic role. You know, if you're a painter, you're not just allowed to do portfolios or portraits. You're allowed to do different things. You know, so, so that's how I approach it. You know, I'm influenced by different music, so I try to do it all. So then how do you feel about being uh, called a salsero? Do you no, consider yourself a salsero, or is it like that's just one of the things that I do? It's one of the things that I do, but yes, I am a salsero first and foremost. I mean, I'd be lying to tell you that I'm not. So what do you think is, is in the future for, for salsa? In general, not just with Frank but because we see now that, yeah. you know, it's kind of... Yeah, no, 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 I don't know where it is either, I'll be honest with you. One of the things that, you know, I guess separates me, and, and this is in no, no way to take anything away from the salseros, um, that are the traditional salseros, is that um, being that I come from a different background, and being that I'm, that I'm still on this side of 30, you know, I can embrace, you know, the change, and seeing that as an opportunity versus a hang up. Well, people also grew up like listening to, to you. Yeah. I remember the, the, man, your first like, well, the Comerta de Besos album and the one where you, yeah. it's like black and white. Yeah. I remember looking at that. I remember my mom, my mom playing it, limpiando la casa, yeah. listening to yeah. you sing. It's just, yeah. And my mom saw a picture of, of you. She was like, is that Frank and Are you going to see him today? <laughs> so it's like, it's the generation that, yeah. like I, you know, when, not that necessarily grew up, but like people that grew up listening to you, yeah. that, that want to keep listening to you. Yeah. So are you going to put out another status album? Absolutely. Well, I, I think it's about the artist. It's not about a genre anymore. I think as long as you put out good music, it doesn't matter what the, what the, what the genre is, as long as the message is something that young people can relate to and older people. You know, like in Miami, for instance, you know, there's always giving me mad love. I will, I will see, you know, grandma, mom, and granddaughter at the same show, you know? Yeah. And you know, I, I went today on Facebook to try to add you as a friend. You have too many friends. Yeah, it will not limit. let me add you. Yeah, I hit my limit. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, but sucks too, because people that are waiting, like, on a list or whatever, and I don't add them, think I'm not adding them because I'm being an ass, so I have to send them, like, these direct messages. Please go to the fan page now <laughs> and like my page. Yeah. I'm always updating there because I hit my limit on right. my personal page. All right, so if you try to add Frank yeah, and Egg on. go to the other page. I got two pages now. He's not I'm trying to diss you. I'm on run. Yeah, I'm not Just trying to. Just go to his fan page, like that. You can follow him there or go on Twitter. What's the Twitter? Twitter is twitter.com forward slash Frank and Egg All right, guys, so as you guys can see behind me, the 2012 Salsa Congress is on and popping. I'm about to go jump in there in a little bit, but Gifted Soul is about to bless that stage. So while I do that, why don't you guys go check out the interview I did with them in the northwest side of Chicago. This is Gifted Souls. What up, everybody? I'm 
out there, this is your boy Lion. I'm here right now with Gifted Souls. Gifted Souls, what is up? What? So much energy. I'm here right now with Rocky Quinones, creative director of Gifted Souls. Rocky, how you feeling? Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So Gifted Souls, where did the name come from? Uh, Gifted Souls started back in 1995. Woo. Um, it, 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 it was originally a uh, graffiti um, graffiti crew. It was uh, with a gentleman of uh, seven guys, it was Keep It Seven, and they recruited a bunch of new members. How many members now? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have, um, I have 30 in the room now. Well, yeah, I have 30 in the room, but I also have a team in Dallas, and that's about another 15. All right, so it's a big team. Yes. Big sponsorship, that's fantastic. Yes. All right, so, um, you guys are going to be at the Salsa Congress, the International Salsa Congress here in Chicago. And it's not your first time. No. No. Uh, how many times have you guys been to the Salsa Congress before? As Gifted Souls, this is going to be our fourth year. Uh, before that, when I had them as the Aspira um, at Lane Tech. Mm -hmm. Did they two years? Mm -hmm. About two years? Uh, actually, it was six years in total. Six years in total. So you guys are bringing the fire not only in Chicago, but it seems as though you guys are doing some more international stuff. And I overheard some uh, global stuff. Can you, can you comment on that? <laughs> um, we have been traveling actually since the group first started. Our first trip was to Houston. I think we were together about four or five months and then we made the trip out there. Like, I didn't waste any time. I just wanted to get the name out there and give them known and, and give them a new experience. We are looking to hopefully go to Amsterdam. Uh, that's been in the works for about a year now. Are you sure this is also next? <laughs> speaking, of, this, speaking of which, what is the age range? I see some young faces, I see some a little bit older faces. What is the age range? Uh, our youngest, I believe, is 16, and the oldest is 22. 24. 24. 24. But if you include me, I'm pushing 30. <laughs> All right, I'm looking around, I see a lot of multicultural faces. I see Latinas, I see Latinos, I see black, I see white, I see a lot. Um, so can you tell me, Salsa Congress is coming up, I see you guys dancing hella crazy out there, you guys are on point. How the hell are you guys getting black, white, Hispanic to dance better than most of my Puerto Rican cousins? <laughs> I think uh, it's all the determination and the drive and, and the love. I, I don't think, um, as we all know, I don't know if you know, but this year at the Chicago Congress, one of the bands that are coming to Chicago are from Japan. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I, I, I feel that our, I, I, I'm, I'm proud that our music has gone that far in the world. All right, guys, so we've seen the moves. Um, you guys obviously have a big squad. Uh, I, I'm, I do not want to throw up any gang signs. I might get hit with something. <laughs> but uh, the truth of the matter is, there's people out there who want to do what you guys do, who can do it at this level. They want to get them and, and be a part of Gifted Souls. Are there open auditions? Can people actively join? Are there yearly auditions? How does that work? This will be the last Gifted Soul audition this year. Um, I love the team that I have and I need to focus on them as opposed to focusing on, on others. So if anyone wants to join a team, this will be the last year for a really long, long, long time. <laughs> Where can these people out there in TV land find out about the auditions for Gifted Souls? They can email us at uh, gsdc underscore fc at yahoo.com. That is gsdc underscore fc at yahoo.com. You can reach us on our Facebook, Skip the Souls. There's, we have a fan page and we have an actual page where you can comment comment back. Uh, and I have a Twitter, Rocky Quinones, or just at Rocky Quinones and hit me up there. Alright, give the souls, thank you for your time! Alright everybody, so we chopped it up with Give the Souls, but we're gonna put them to the test, put them on the floor, put the cameras in their face, we wanna see a dance number or two. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, from our streets to your computers, your boy Lion, this is that TV. Five, six, seven, eight.
are here at the Sasa Congress where it is popping, like Lion would say. They've got music, we've got dancing, we've got food, drinks, everything you can find, you can find it here at the Sasa Congress. Now, we got to hang out and talk to the people that are the movers and shakers of the Sasa Congress. As I check out this fabulous clothing, you guys check out those interviews. Hi everybody on Vet TV Landia, I am Lion. I'm here right now with Rosita Reagan Alaman. Rosita, you have an awesome event here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's fantastic. Thank I you for being here with us. Oh, thank you for inviting us. Absolutely. We have seen some immense talent all throughout Chicago. Who are you most excited to see? Oh my God. I think that uh, Gifted Souls is probably one of the most exciting groups that we have here. They started as a high school team. Aspira mm -hmm. and over the 10 years they've grown up and their their souls are truly gifted what other countries are representing here at the Chicago Salsa Congress? Oh, well, let's see we have dancers from Korea we have dancers from two countries in Europe I think uh, Brit Great Britain and also from Italy how many years has the Salsa Congress been here in Chicago we've been here 11 years 11 years in counting and counting and it's a beautiful location what made you guys choose the Westin we chose the Westin because we wanted to get midway between all of the uh, suburbs where Salsa was really growing rapidly and uh, this way people congregate to a single destination it also being near uh, O'Hare has helped us because we have have dancers coming from all over the Midwest, all over the United States, so this makes it very convenient for them. Well, you've been here for 11 years. How have you seen the Congress evolve from when it started in its inception to today in 2012 and going on to 2013? <laughs> the greatest involvement in the Congress has been the emergence of wonderful professional talent in Chicago, and that was our goal in bringing the Congress concept here. We wanted to reseed that love and connection to the music and to show the world the wonderful talent that we have here in Chicago. And I think we've done that quite well. I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. So where can we find out more about the, the Chicago Salsa Congress? Well, you can certainly go to our website. It's www.chicagosalsacongress.com. You can also go on ABC7. You can go to um, Time Out Chicago, where we are the critics pick. Oh, okay. So, pretty much so, if you're tuned into what's going on in Chicago this week, you can find out all kinds of information about us. Uh, you guys heard it here first. Now you guys know, in the middle of winter, February, all right, it's freezing outside here in Chicago, but it's warm here with all the hearts of the dancers and on that dance floor. Do you see some of these outfits these girls are wearing? Oh, yes, absolutely. We call it the heat wave. The heat wave arrives in Chicago every February, and it intensifies over the four nights and three days that the Chicago International Salsa Congress is here. Thank you, Rosita. Thank you so much for being here with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, we kind of give this over for the stage. Are you excited? Yeah! yeah. Today, so they're gonna be the last thing we all see today. So let's get on the stage. Let's go. From Chicago, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a high energy group, Gifted Souls.
Well, everybody, that's it for today's show here at the International Chicago Salsa Congress. Oh, man, I had a blast. I met so many new people, mm -hmm. saw a bunch of shows. I danced my pants off. Ew. I hope not. That's <laughs> oh, gross. And I got a number. No, you didn't. Give me that. 1-800-555-1234. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good luck with that. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's show. For Vet TV, I'm Coco. And I'm Lion. And he did not get a phone number. Mm -mm. Ciao. All right, guys, so next audition of Gifted Souls 2012, we have... Liger? 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 Okay. Oh. Hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. Really excited. I can do better. I can do better. Oh, I can. <laughs> Alright, next we have Coco. Coco. Coco Puff. Coco. Hi! This is a solo dancer. No, there's no teams. Who, who are your friends? But they're a part of me. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I mean, go ahead. This is for, for new members. You're you're already in the group. Oh. 